In this video, I'll introduce you to the Grafana Basic Monitoring Services or Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. Grafana gives you the ability to monitor the physical and virtual resources. It allows you to view log files and it allows you to generate alerts. In this video, I'll show you how to access Grafana and view some of the pre-configured Grafana dashboards used to monitor system resources. You can access Grafana from either the administration portal or from the monitoring portal. Select monitoring portal to be taken directly to the Grafana homepage or from the administration portal, select monitoring portal to access Grafana. Here I'm showing the Grafana homepage. There's a good bit of help that is available from the homepage. You can view tutorials on data sources and dashboards. There are also links to documentation and tutorials in the upper right portion of the home page. In this video, we'll look at some of the pre-configured Grafana dashboards for Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. From the Dashboards menu option on the left side of the Grafana homepage, I'll click Browse. Here you see five top-level folders that contain the pre-configured Grafana dashboards. There is currently nothing under general folder, but each of the remaining folders, executive, inventory, service level, and trend, all contain various dashboards. I'll click on overt executive dashboards to view these. On the left is the dashboard name, and on the right are the data elements that are included in the dashboard. I'll scroll down to view the executive dashboards. Here we have system, data center, cluster, host, virtual machines, and executive dashboard. Under the Overt Inventory Dashboards folder, we have Inventory, Host Inventory, Storage Domains Inventory, and Virtual Machines Inventory. Under the Overt Service Level Dashboards folder, we have Uptime, Host Uptime, Virtual Machines Uptime, Cluster Quality of Service Host, and Cluster Quality of Service Virtual Machines. And finally, under the Overt Trend Dashboards, we have Trend, Host Trend, Virtual Machines Trend, Host Resource Usage, and virtual machines resource usage. Let's have a look at this last dashboard. Across the top of the dashboards are filters. For this dashboard, you can select the data source. I'll just take the default. You can show deleted entries. I'll select no. For data center, you can select all or select a specific data center. The same is true for cluster. You can select all or select a specific cluster. And you can select all virtual machines or select a specific VM. For period, you can select day of week or hour of day. Each dashboard provides a description. This dashboard displays resource usage, PPU, memory, Ethernet, interface, transmit and receive and disk I.O. for selected virtual machines within a selected period. You can see the average CPU usage for each day of the week and the average CPU usage peaks. Scrolling down, you can see virtual machine memory usage, virtual machine interface usage, and virtual machine disk usage. If I change the period to hour of day, the dashboard updates to reflect this new time period. You can click the Grafana icon in the top left corner to return to the home page. For your convenience, the home page keeps a running list of recently viewed dashboards. The dashboard we just viewed is at the top of the list. Let's look at one more dashboard before we conclude this video. I'll select Virtual Machine Dashboard. This dashboard is also accessible from the Overt Executive Dashboards folder. You have filters at the top of each dashboard, including a filter to select a virtual machine. The description states, the Virtual Machine Dashboard displays the configuration details and resource usage metrics of a selected virtual machine. We see under configuration details, the data center and the cluster 
and the host this is currently running on. Some of this data is masked out for security purposes. Under OS version, we see IP, created date, and update date. We see the number of CPU cores, memory size, total disk size, uptime and usage. Scrolling down, we see disk inventory, Ethernet interface inventory, session activity, which currently contains six pages of activity. At the bottom of this dashboard is resource usage over time for CPU, memory, disk, and Ethernet interface. The time interval for this data representation is the last 30 days, but this can be changed by clicking this menu option at the top right corner of the page. This concludes this demonstration of the pre-configured Grafana dashboards for Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. Thank you for watching. For more information, refer to the Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager documentation. And for additional training videos like this, go to www.oracle.com slash go to slash Linux vert manager learning.